and March are thereabouts of 2019, the National Science Foundation introduced a new requirement for their SBI RNSTTR programs, the project pitch. The project pitch process was created to save time and effort, uh, both from the small business side, so they didn't develop an entire proposal for ideas that didn't align with NSF's goals of investing in revolutionary ideas with commercial potential, and then also so that program managers had greater agility and flexibility in evaluating full proposals. But the first thing to know about the project pitch is it's actually a stopgate for you. You have to have a successful pitch before you can submit a full proposal to either the SBIR or STTR program. If your pitch is accepted, you will have one year to submit your full proposal from that acceptance date. If your pitch is rejected, it will get feedback on why it is rejected, and then you can submit that same pitch again during the next quarterly window. Um, but you can only submit a pitch on a different idea during that same quarterly window. But getting out to the nitty gritty, the project pitch is a roughly three page document outlining what you're working on, why it's unique, and what the uh, commercial potential is. Also, what you will be doing during the phase one and the team you've put together or you know, will put together to see the project forward. For the first part, the technology innovation, you have 500 words to convince the program manager that what you're working on is unique, that it's unproven, and how the idea originated. Like the name implies, here's where you focus on what is innovative about what you're creating and why the world has never seen it. Also talk about the genesis of the idea. What gave you the inspiration for this project? For the second section, technology objectives and challenges, that's also another 500 words. And in there, you really kind of try to discuss the work that will be performed uh, during the phase one. You should outline what it is you're actually going to do during the phase one, how it's going to prove that technology feasibility of the idea, what risks are involved, and what challenges you foresee. We tell this to people a lot, but NSF really does uh, pay attention to those challenges. If this was an easy project, you wouldn't need funding for it, you know, to be honest. So be honest about the challenges. Um, talk about where you see the risks. Remember though, the inverse of a challenge is an opportunity. What opportunity comes out of this to build a product that someone actually needs, cares about, or you know, just quite simply will actually buy? You should also uh, focus on how this is real R&D, or you know, research and development, and not just some you know, engineering work or incremental product development. Those are two key things that NSF will just not fund. The next section, even though it's only um, 250 words, the market opportunity is actually one of the most important parts of your entire pitch. Um, in this section, you really need to discuss the near-term commercial focus of the project, um, describe your customer, talk about the pain point that will drive your solution, and just kind of focus on who cares about what you're creating, why they care, and at the end of the day, how you plan to put a product in their hands that solves their woes. That's kind of the commercial potential. Uh, for the very last section, you have the company and team. And that one's uh, 250 words. So for this part, you wanna focus on who's part of the project, um, the experience and expertise they bring to the table, and how that ties directly into the project. You know, make sure though that you don't only cover the technical aspects, but the business and commercial aspects too. Also try and describe the business itself. Is it solvent? Is this a make or break project? You know, is the business itself mature? You're not gonna be penalized for these, but it definitely gives confidence to that reviewer if you can check all of those boxes. After you get done creating your project pitch, you're actually gonna submit it through an online form. And then typically you'll hear back from NSF within three weeks or so. At that point, you've got the green light. You know, it's all systems go on your proposal. So start taking that information, that you know, low level research you did for that project pitch and start framing out your proposal. Each section 
that is in the project pitch can really be mapped to either a section or multiple sections of your entire proposal package. So use that as the foundation. See what they focused on. If they provided you with direct feedback, make sure you highlight those aspects. Make sure it's something that you're following their best guidance, because at the end of the day, their best guidance is a thing that's gonna get you funded.